In this video, we will review how to generate a driver pay report. To start, we need to build a driver pay schedule for our driver. To do so, we just need to open up one of our driver's profiles. Next, we will click on the Add New Schedule item. Here I can choose from any of the preloaded description types or just add one. I'm going to select Line Haul Pay Loaded Miles. Notice that the Pay Items button is green. This means that this rate will be used as a driver pay item. The rate basis is pre-selected on the description I choose. Carrier miles will pull from the carrier miles of the load that the driver will be added to. Now I put in the rate. I will enter a rate of $1.45. I have the option to put in a note as well. Now I will just save this rate for the driver. I'm going to add another rate for deadhead miles. In this example, my driver will be paid 50 cents per mile for deadhead. By the way, you can choose to pay your drivers based on a percentage of line haul or load value as well. Now that we have the driver pay entries under our driver, we can now add them to a load. To do so, we just need to go to a load and add the driver to the load. Here, I selected myself as the carrier for this load. I then select the driver for the load, and in this case, it's Sam Smithers. Now I just move over to the Financial tab. I select Add Line Item. I then select the driver. Now I select one of the pay items that I added to the schedule. In this case, I will choose the Per Mile Pay Item. As you can see, it pulls over the rate per mile from his schedule and the miles from this load. Now I just click Save, and I'm done adding this pay item. I can do this for every pay item that I need to associate with this driver on this particular load. Now that I have added my driver's pay items, I can run a report to show me all of the loads that the driver has done for any given pay period. To run the report, I just go to the driver pay report under the reporting menu. I then select the date range for the pay period and click on the Run Report button. Here is the report. It includes all of my drivers and their loads for this pay period. It also includes any holdbacks that are applicable. I can also export this report to an Excel spreadsheet and send it over to my payroll or accounting department. This concludes this how-to video on driver pay reports. Thank you.